Pembroke 2 and YCA3. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. You can come and sit down, Amanda. Huh? Come and sit down. Yeah. I'm supposed to have been delivered COVID packs. They're probably all in the gambler room and no one can get into the gambler room. <laughs> you can get into the gambler room if you go through the bar. No, the door's locked. All right. I did check. Okay. What's going on now? Who's that bowling? Did you look at a team sheet? No. Got one. If there is one. Be to get, well, but there'll be one up there. There'll be one up here, apparently. First, first things first. It's not f***ing stream, is that Joe? It looks like JP, JP, doesn't it? How was that changed? I think the phrase is technical difficulties. Yeah. Change the stream key. Was trying to stream to a Cricket Leinster one. Didn't even bat the O's. Yeah. Okay, Craig. Oh, they got to the last over. 163 all out. What? Uh, we're just about to go live. Well, you tell me when. Uh, I'm hitting go live. Good afternoon. Hang on. Maybe. You're live. Good afternoon. Welcome to another season of Pembroke Cricket. You join us in the middle of the first over. Captain JP with the ball from the St John's end. This is Tulane Cup game, Pembroke seconds having the honour of opening the season against YMCA. Well, this is good bowling by JP. Been an off spinner the last few years. Gone back to seam. And that worked out well for him. Just the two off the over. YMCA put into bat and score two off the first over. Lovely sunny day. Ground is looking absolutely fabulous, but two years of very little cricket and extremely small amount of rugby. And the tender loving care of GM by choice means we have an absolutely superb ground here. Right now, for the start of our season, June the 7th, Feels strange, first day of play and the sun is out. Usually with an April start, you'd be uh, looking for as many jumpers as you could find. But it's a uh, June start, plenty of short sleeves on show. We will give you a list of the teams soon enough. First laugh. This camera might not stay on today. There's the shot from our Grow, GoPro. Grow Pro. He's got him. He's got him. That's the first wicket of the season. Samson picking it up with an innocuous uh, off spinner to the left hander. And, and uh, as you may have heard, his, his first ball for Pembroke results in a wicket. He should stop now with such an economy rate, wicket rate, and in fact, wicket average. 
So leading in the spud for this year now, Samson, one ahead of everyone else. New batsman to the middle. If you are thinking of coming down today, obviously COVID regulations are in effect. We have a maximum of 100 spectators on the ground and 56, 56, there we go. Lovely floated ball, just straight through. Try to play out on the back foot and play down the wrong line. One wicket down, the score is now two for one. Uh, we'll hopefully get you some names and scorecards at some stage. In fact, we might even get a moving camera at another stage, but there you go. Well, we definitely will get that now in a minute. And if you are thinking of coming down as, as Samson comes in for his second ball, another one well lofted, full toss, push back down the ground. Noah Smith, fielding. Yes, if you are thinking of coming down to Pembroke today, not only will the bar be open from two o'clock, so time your arrival for three, let the queue go down, uh, but also uh, Paddy Halpin and his brother Bean Coffee Van are on the ground today, serving up delicious coffee. Luckily, I've only had the one so far, which makes it two for the day. I haven't even managed to finish mine yet. Well, well thank you, Craig. Third ball of the over. Oh, there to be smacked. Mid on. Noah Smith at deep mid on takes it. Joe nearly got there. The legend that is Andy Leonard fielding out here at mid off. Just on the edge of the circle. Useful over this. Sampson enjoying himself. A useful second 11 today. Good to see the reappearance of Andy Mays. Andy Leonard very much the uh, elder lemon on this team now. Captain JP fielding that one. Ties in, takes it. One to come in the over. Andy, of course, is just back from, well, I suppose a couple of weeks back now from Nepal. Katmandu's favorite commentator. Score is now four for one, and this is the twelfth ball of the innings. Oh, that's very high. Full toss, batted away, deservedly so, four through mid wicket. That certainly has perked up the uh, YM side, first boundary. But that's a good first over for Samson, he's got to be happy with that. One for One for a few, one for five, would that be right? Everyone else is watching. No score up on the board yet, on your screens, but I can assure you it is eight for one off two. Hey, we have a third camera. And a scorecard. But you mean you don't know how to do that yourself? No. Nope. You're wearing your wrong glasses, so there's no point in teaching you either, is there? No. Nope. Yeah, there your bales for... For Ron. For Ron. Right. Are you going to sit with me? Nope. Okay. <laughs> JP to continue. Clubbed out on the leg side. Fielder comes in from Cow. That's McDarrah. McDarrah Cosgrave, who's another one who's made a rapid ascent through the sides. Looking at a number of players who have played on the fifths in the number of years. Noah Smith. Donica Tucker. Sh no, Sean's playing ones. So, there's a few around. New wicketkeeper today as well, Jackson. That's a good shot. Played right down to the coffee machine. You can see the queue there. Looks like the Smiths have abandoned the pub. All the coffees are available with Paddy, black and white. And he has both types of sugar, brown and white. Played down, Donna Kataka. 
sort of gullyish. Nice bit of energy here amongst the seconds. Pembroke really having their resources strained today. Oh, well, that's played away beautifully on the leg side, clipped off his hips down towards the, uh, the clubhouse. Two bounce, four, and this has proved to be not quite as cheap and over as Joe's first. Quick change in the field, Noah Smith going out to deep square leg. Joe plays a slightly off pace ball. Batsman tries to play it away. Andy Mays feels nice and cleanly. Score is now 16 in the third over. Just the one wicket gone. YMCA off to a good start, but so Pembroke with a wicket down, so in the balance. Oh, he's played it away there beautifully again, and in fact exactly to the same spot again. He's drifted onto the legs, and that's been an expensive over by the skipper. He's going to be cross with himself, and we all know how hard Joe is on himself. However, that's two overs out of the way. And one suspects he, he might make a change there now, save himself for the end of the innings. ZZ starts to warm up. Strike bowler last year. Leading wicket taker, if I'm correct. If anybody wants to give great feedback on whether YouTube is really having problems or whether it's just lying to us, more me <laughs> feedback, that would be welcome. It's claiming it's got issues, but uh, it looks like it doesn't really. Ireland playing the Dutch today in a World Cricket League qualifier for the World Cup. And a poor start by Ireland, left them with a uh, hill to climb, and they managed to climb it up to 163 all out in the last over. Running down the card, nobody's really set the world alight. Harry Tector with a 58, and George Dockerall with 40. Simi Singh, 21, not out. Other than that, not a huge amount in there, and up to 160. Oh, that's dreadful. That's dreadful by Samson, that's gone a long way, and that is a no ball. No ball four, so next one will be a free hit. That's the wrong length to be bowling there. Both of these batsmen keen to hit to the leg side. Don't know that we've seen a run on the offside yet. But already the score up to 21. The message just came in there. We're not going to have our proper live scores on the stream. After all, it's giving problems. That's all right. We'll, day of technical difficulties, it seems. we'll just uh, keep telling people what the score is. It certainly isn't zero for zero. Oh, he's just struck up and gone big for that. Oh, Dara has misfielded it, and they're going for two. This could be tighter than they were. Oh, the throw was a bit short. That's a shame. They've let a single get away there, Pembroke. Madara fumbling the initial fielding, and then his throw not quite to the stumps. Samson comes into bolt, gets this one to pitch. Uh, strangled appeal from a one person and one person only. Afternoon, Andy, how are you? Yeah. He's certainly trying to give it air. Certainly trying to give it air. Looked like that might have come off the foot. It's a patchy day here in Pembroke now. Some sunlight, some cloudy, some blue, some white. Oh, another full toss, another one dispatched a long way and there's nobody fielding a cow corner and that may have gone all the way. That must have only been a couple of yards away from being another six, or being the first six. After taking a wicket with his first ball, Samson has now become, dare one say, a bit expensive. He's giving it plenty of air. 
And it's certainly giving the batsman a chance to get it away as well. Pulled that one down. It's hit up in the air. And he gets his second wicket. Dragged that one down halfway down the wicket. The batsman couldn't get the full strength behind it. And as a result, JP takes the catch just at mid-on. Looped up to him. And the score goes on to 32 for two. They're certainly not hanging around and they're not going to... They're not going to die waiting anyway. I see Ashley Bell Burney down the far end there. Just walking past the slight screen. That's lap number two. And here's our phone-in competition. How many laps will Ashley get done in 40 overs? Having overpitched the previous one, full toss that went very close for six. This time he brings it down, halfway down the wicket, just couldn't get the strength behind it, top half of the bat, and it just lofts very nicely. And the batsman wasn't really trying to run one there, was he? He's trying to jog back to the clubhouse. There we go. Safest to catch is for JP. Made to look a lot more difficult than it was. But he got there. If anybody would like to let us know that they're watching or, or, or listening or, or even here, uh, phone number to contact us on is 086 156 4442. So Samson ends up with two wickets, but it's two for quite a lot. Now, Let's see what YouTube's still complaining. 32 for two off four. Change of bowling. It looks like Azizi's coming on. Azizi, who uh, had a successful year last year. It's not him. Ah, Donica Tucker. Donica Tucker, left arm spin. Coming around the wicket to the right-hander. Good afternoon. You're probably better off staying on the grass. Dead ball. Umpire making sure the scorer knows that's a dead ball. Either that or else uh, dispersing the air around him. That's good by Donica, right in at the feet. Batsman couldn't do anything but dig it out. That's poorly fielded there at square leg, and it's gone through him and gone for the boundary. That's good. Done it again. Another one smacked out to the leg side. This time, Noah Smith fielding down at deep square leg makes a fine stop and a super return. Manages to clip the batsman. Batsman apologises. <laughs> Don't know why. Tucker, the, the latest in a long line of Tuckers who have 
made their way up to the higher levels of the club. Does have a very nice smooth action. Certainly has put on a few inches over over the winter. I say winter. YouTube's finally decided to tap you again. Nine months since we really played. Another one played round to the leg side, gets past Andy Leonard there. And another four. They really do need to uh, put somebody down there here. Not sure whether square leg is the place for the fine fielder. The batsmen tend to, to swivel around on this a bit. Perhaps Joe might uh, review his field for the next over. But YM are off to a good start. They're 41 for two off five. Both openers have been seen off. And now it's easy to come into the attack from the nursery end. The houses on Park Avenue before they were built. It was an actual nursery for plants, not for children. Whereas Sunday morning in Pembroke these days appears to be a bit more of a nursery. Good open, good open view from. Or put the go, put the, put the GoPro somewhere further forward. So it's easy. It joined us from Leinster a couple of years ago, and has been very successful. Very skiddy bowler. Oh, right on the mark, right down at the uh, batsman's feet, dug out. As I see Michael Sharp uh, entering the ground, coming in along the wall there, having made it past the COVID officers, smacked out to mid-off, Andy Leonard makes absolutely sure that there's no more than one there. Decision that by Noah Smith deciding not to uh, throw the ball. Single was already there. Smack back. Yes! Oh, what a super effort there. Not out, but uh, Andy Leonard showing he knows where the stumps are anyway. Super work that by uh, Andy Leonard. Had the experience to just steady himself. Going for accuracy. Unfortunately, the YM player had made his ground. But it will make him think twice before doing it again, that's for sure. Lovely, fluffy, cloudy day today. Well taken by the wicketkeeper, Young Jackson. Playing against his old club today. I have to say, it is amazing how many times people change clubs and their first game for the new club is, is against the old club. Andy Leonard making sure he's hitting something anyway. This time it's the batsman, not the stumps, and another single is completed. End of a good over from Assisi. Score has moved on to 44 off six. That's when number three and four are in. That's when number three has whipped himself onto 24 runs. And with the score on 45. Good solid base for them to start. Mm -hmm. 
the Donica Tucker experiment shelved for the moment, replaced by more youth. McDara Cosgrave coming on, and St John's end. Certainly a good start for YMCA here, rattling along at nearly eight and over. Seven and a half, anyway. Oh! Unusual ball from McDarrah. McDarrah, who in his first game of adult cricket, took wickets in it with his first seconds. Second balls? I can't remember. I think he may have even got the hat trick. He certainly burst upon the fifth scene. And here we are nine months later, and he's playing for the twos. Pushed out to mid on, where it's fielded by the fourth 11 Poo. Poo Sharma. He'll be looking to impress the seconds captain. Certainly has ambitions to play at a higher level. It's out there on the leg side again. It gets past the despairing skipper who put himself out there. Ends up down by the coffee machine. Another quick advert for Brother Bean. Dairy milk, non-dairy milk. Artificial sweeteners, sweeteners. He also has cakes and donuts. Next ball. Just played out on the leg side where it's picked up. Score still on 45 on the scoreboard. He's got down on one knee and he's played that round to the leg side. And again, it's to the right hand side of Noah Smith. One feels he is slightly in the wrong place there. Well, the seconds for YM are doing better than the first for YM. They're currently 34 for two. No score available in Pembroke Third's game. They're out in Clontarf today. Railway first, so 29 for two against Malahide first. Across the road, where undoubtedly it's a good five degrees cooler. Marion first, so 41 for one, out in Balbriggan. And Pembroke firsts, 32 for two against North Kildare. No update as to a scorecard. Batsman looking for two, but a slight slip by the striker when he reached the non-striker's end. Meant it was kept to one. Good solid strike of the ball on the offside, out through the covers where neither fielder could stop it. And that's another four. 59 in the eighth over. It is a nice warm day. That's a better ball right up in the block hole. Dot ball. Most of the uh, spectators have opted for the shorts today. That's how warm it is, although I see Michael Sharp uh, still going with the long linen strides. Whipped away on the leg side through to mid wicket. Well picked up, oh, nearly picked up by Donica. And even with the, the misfields that are going on out there, kept it down to one. Score moves on to. 59 on the board. Plus the single makes it 60 for two in the eighth over. Played out on the offside past diving point. 
and that's another boundary. 64 after eight. This is going along at eight and over now. So Andy, a good time in Nepal anyway. Nepal, yes, yes. Uh, they do like you out there. Different place to reach, yeah. Different place. Special place. Would you stay? Played out on the leg side, and that's a fabulous stop there by Dara. Out on the boundary, fires it in. Definitely saves two runs there. Super fielding. 66 after eight overs. Andy Leonard excuses himself from the field for a second. Uh, Pembroke down 10 at the moment. Uh, Somebody making the most of the break between overs to uh, have a comfort break. And he's back out in time. That was a very short comfort break. On Phil's, he's uh, burst out of the clubhouse, passes his cap to McDarrah. Sixty six off eight, and now JP has turned to his most experienced player. At cricket badge, Andy Leonard, man of many talents. And he's just making slight changes to his field. Andrew Jackson waiting behind the stumps. And Andy's first ball doesn't quite pitch. Pushed out to mid on. Poo does the fielding. Just a single to YM. Ah. Pitches that one down. Oh, the athletic fielding there by Andy Leonard. Letting gravity do the work and drag his body down to the ground where he saved it. <laughs> that one may have gone the other way. Seemed to roll his hand over that one. Noah Smith comes in from deep mid off, uh, deep square leg. These fielding positions, eh? And he's just taking the short run up. Again, played out, and this time Noah Smith fields well. Super piece of fielding that by Noah Smith, showing the advantage of youth. Willingness to throw himself to the ground for the cause. Great to see. Looks like Graham Mooney has found the coffee tent. And Andy Leonard unfazed by any of this. Seen it all before. Been responsible for most of it before. Played away on the offside, that's played past Sampson and it's going to run away and that's going to be a boundary. That's gone, he was never going to catch that, it's superbly played, wages, wages and then just dropped the bat on it and let it run down to third, past the fielder, picked up the hill, just ran down the dip away from the fielder. Still, not a bad over from Andy, the score has moved on to 74 from nine. And already nearly halfway through this first innings. 
JP marking up his run-up, coming from the other end now. Bowler number one, now on at the nursery end. That's going to be wide to start us off. It's not like starting the season in April. Play that in the offside. As easy with, well, tries to barehand it with just the one hand. Let's them through for the single. Clouds are hardly moving in the sky. A very still day. Lots of specks of blue. Blue tinge. Certainly worth um, getting out of the house for. And we're now reaching the stage. 26 minutes till the bar opens. The Pembroke, uh, just commenting on the crowd now, the Pembroke uh, chairman of selectors sitting down to next to Michael Sharp. Noel Goff, who's been down the club many, many times this year already. Oh, that's a bit uppish through the covers, played out, where it's fielded on the boundary. Another single. Pembroke won't mind singles at the moment. It's these boundaries and off the loose deliveries that are costing them. And this has been a fine stand now by YM. These two have certainly put on more than 50. Again, keen to play to the leg side. Donica Tucker comes around, picks it up. And somewhat ironically, throws in right-handed. And yet he bowls left-handed. Man of many talents. Oh, that's a bit wide, a bit uppish. Hit down towards point where it's fielded. Nearly carried. I keep thinking Niall's looking at me and I, he's actually looking at the screen, but it's very disconcerting. Oh, there is no better fielder than a bowler off his own bowling. Prendergast throwing himself full length to stop that one. And that's a better over. And the score at the halfway mark, 78 for two. YM will certainly be the happier of the two teams at the moment. Seventy-eight for two off ten. Batsman number three. And batsman number four. <laughs> batsman number three has moved on to forty-five. What a lovely way to start your season. Start with a big score. Especially in a shortened season. Let's see if he can push on from here. <clears throat> Having scored 78 in the first, they'll be looking for 170, 180, one would think. Andy Leonard to have his second over now. That's one getting tied up. Couldn't get any strength behind it. Could only push it out to Cal, where it beats the inside ring of two and made its way out to the boundary rider. And that's a super piece of work by Andy Leonard. And there we go, off on the traditional 40-yard run, going round the 30-yard circle, although it's closer to 20 yards now. High fives, low fives, the whole lot going on. Some of his teammates who haven't played that much with Andy chasing after him and some of his teammates uh, realising he's going to end up back in the same place and just wait for him to finish his lap of celebration. So he's just been out and he's gone in. Okay. 
Cash Yap. Out for 45. Still, he'll be happy enough for that as a first score of the season. And Shetty is now headed out to the middle. Here it is again. Neat work there by Mr. Jackson, his first stumping in Pembroke colours. Although it was taken so well, one would suspect it's not his first stumping. That was very well done. Very neat. I resisted the replay of the lap. <laughs> uh, we might get a we might get a, a section of that for the awards night though the Andy Leonard lap. He didn't do the lap, did he? Well, he did. The older he's got, the, the, smaller, the smaller the smaller the lap. the lap has got, and also I think the the urgency of the the wicket has also uh, something to do with it. That was an important wicket for Pembroke. Nothing puts the brakes on. And then a couple of wickets. That one's just dropped a bat on it. That's a single there. Donica back on his heels on the edge of the circle. No, I don't want to make it. Where's that camera? Behind you. It's that one there. Oh. That's our GoPro. Oh, no, <laughs> you hey, hey, head. hey. That's very harsh. <laughs> Andy Leonard continue. The sun has found a gap in the clouds. This is good running. Good running. Good sharp call. Went for it. Made it. Another over gone, that's 11 down. The score is now 82 for three. Very important for Pembroke to take that wicket. Batsman was well set. Although with his 45 runs, one would be thinking that possibly 44 of them came on the leg side. Whenever the bat at Pembroke bowlers strayed onto his hips, he was very quick on whipping a few down to the clubhouse. I'm fine, Niall might want a warm one. Now, you can just put it on my account. If you are arriving at Pembroke, this is for Amanda only. <laughs> you can put the coffees on my account because I told Paddy I'd settle up with him afterwards. All right. Do you want a donut as well? Captain, Captain Prendergast. Now on for his fourth over. Well done, Andy. First wicket in the new year. Put you one ahead of me for the spot. You're the only person that I ever tied with. I've won, I've won four and a half of those things now. Oh, you must have. I'd say you've had more than me. You're a better bowler, but I played more. The year I got married was my best ever year. 60th? 80. 80. Well, that's back when there was... Oh, you could bowl for three days in a row. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. More likely to be 75 overs in a weekend and then play a Wheeling Cup on the Tuesday. Yeah. He was whipping them off his uh, hip very well. Oh, that's well kept out by the batsman. He recognised very quickly that that was not the one to go after. Good length from Joe. Joe having changed to a seamer this year. Oh, he's up in the air. Bit uppish. Well fielded by Noah Smith. Wasn't quite there for the catch. Squeeze on, squeeze on. This is the cry on the Pembroke sideline. That's not been middled, but it's been hit well enough. Uh, 
Williams. McDowell around the corner well. And that's the end of JP spell. What I'll do is I'll leave you to enjoy the wonderful photography of Noel. And we'll see if we can't find out Joe's figures. Life score, not quite behaving itself today. But we'll get there. Nobody telling you YouTube isn't behaving itself yet? Nobody's telling me anything. I could be just talking to myself at the moment. Well, you're not just talking to yourself, I'm pretty sure. But YouTube keeps keeps complaining and then stopping complaining. And I don't believe it at all. <laughs> So, Joe Prendergast's four overs, cost 23 runs, no wickets for him today. That's uh, clubbed out to mid off. Oh. Just a single. Takes the score on to 87. Harsh hit, batsman number four has moved on to 21. He's now taken on the senior role in this partnership. That was good. Good thinking by the fielder. Not quite as well executed as he would have wanted. As I say, it's very disconcerting the way you look past me, but I understand why. Niall has taken on the roles of cameraman and director, leaving me just to rab it away. Zizi out on the uh, off boundary. Gently tosses it back in. Score goes on to 89. His batsman not quite having the fluency of uh, Kashyap. Well dug out again, but well fielded. Well done, Donica. That's a lovely bit of fielding there. My lord, is the cry from Andy Leonard. He's seen that so many times before, just nearly sneaking through. So, 14... No, it's 13 overs gone. Seven to go. Scores 89. That 170 now is starting to look a bit uh, more distant. However, with those wickets in hand, there's no reason why YM can't put up a very decent score here now. Well, we get a break in play. Nearly, didn't he? No real updates anywhere. Railway 29 for two in their first 11 game. Merion 42 for one in theirs. Pembroke have moved on to 36 for two. And that's it. Donica, Donica gets the wicket. Wicket for Donica. Fine stuff. Here's the replay, floated up there. Pitch is just outside off. Batsman, big hoik, he'll be disappointed with that. And the umpire triumphantly giving him out. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure the batsman knew. Unfortunately, there was no appeal. <laughs> but there you go, that's a fine wicket for Donica. Well pitched up. Nice time to join you. Good afternoon, Graham. Good Looking afternoon. forward to your game this evening. And now your mic is oh. <laughs> That's all right. Probably heard it on this one anyway. Yes. Tension, anticipation, nervous. Better. That's best. The full full gamut for 5 p.m. I 
going down on one knee there was the wrong ball to do it to, obviously. Left arm spinners. Kevin Peterson and I do have something in common. We both don't like them. Ooh. It's in the air. It just clears JP. Great effort from the skipper. Oh, and there'll be a second there. That's sloppy. Well, apparently there were two. The misfield not picking it up cleanly. No two to you there, Andy, I think you meant to say. Youth, eh? Youth. Oh! <laughs> it's come forward. Captain JP is really taking on this, uh, trying to do every role he can. I think it's four. Four. It is four. Oh, well bold. Nice line, good lance, tightened it up. Donica, who, of course, a couple of years ago was opening the bowling with this on the fifths. Well, he learned a lot, didn't he? Well, and How not to? How some <laughs> of it was about cricket. <laughs> that smashed out to Cal Corn again. And, and he misfields it again. Mac, that's two in a row for you. Mac, is that McDarrow? Yeah, it looks like McDarrow. Yeah. He's disappointed, as he should be. I, I, I see a bit of fielding practice in his future. He just dropped that one a little short to be annoyed, no? Or the much better Lance. That's it. That, that's Jackson really rounds nice. well to that one. That's the and I think that's the over. And that's 14 gone. The score's moved on to 93. Shetty is now on four, as is his partner, Thamby. Oh, you got your jab? You got the jab? Yep, yeah, is your arm sore? No, it's actually... Uh, uh, as I say, just yeah. keep exercising it. Stephen, you can come and stand over here quietly as well as stand there quietly. You've got vac two vaccinated people over here. Semi-vaccinated. Halfway there. And a quarter of all new cases now are people who are vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Always look on the bright side. I won't break into song, promise. Oh, that's a oh Andy lens. Leonard finding the outside edge. They'll be looking for two there as easy comes to it. He's got a good throw, but it won't be enough to stop two here. Well bowled there from Andrew. That was unfortunate. That ball didn't deserve to go for two. Uh, the life of a one-day bowler or a T20 bowler. The longer form of the game, you might have bat fielders around the bat for that. We're now reaching two o'clock, which will be the start time of a lot of games. In Ooh, that looks straight. <laughs> Yes. He's given him, he's given him, the batsman would have yeah. almost walked himself there, I think. I, I think he just, that was the uh, flipper. I yeah, assume. yeah. We'll see that on the replay now. Yeah. Some countries, they call it an instant replay, but uh, we're not quite up to that yet. With one man doing the replays, the direction, the camera work, the switching, well, we the just setting up. Yeah, we just sit here and chat. Yeah. It's brilliant. There you go. Here comes the replay. Well floated oh, up. Right, yeah. Oh, I don't think there was much doubt about that. No. Andy was happy enough with that. Yeah. And the, the batsman was walking. And the batsman was walking. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> Without even seeing. Yeah. That was not going over the top. As he said, Stephen, missing could you do me a favour? Yeah. Just go to the scorers and see if they can fill in the rest of the order. Yeah. So we know who's gone in and who hasn't. As, as they often say, missing off, missing leg. Well. Wasn't going over the top anyway. Are you looking forward to it, uh, 5 pm kickoff? No. No. No, I am too old and too sore. Yeah. I have a. My back is at me and I haven't seen my chiropractor in a year. That's why I brought the uh, good painkillers. Oh, I'll have some of those. Yeah. In fact, I've brought my own painkillers. <laughs> Never leave home without them. Oh, look, sulfuring before our viewers. Yeah, stay sponsored. Start, <laughs> start leaping to any conclusions. <laughs> Today's broadcast is happily sponsored by... Sulfur Extra. Ooh, oh, first, reverse sweep. Oh, first. my word. First ball up. That's, That's certainly the way to go. You're very good to me. I'm very good to me. Well, Craig, Craig could have bought us all something then, couldn't he? 
I did actually have to say on air, because I was talking to Amanda and said, oh, it's on my car, just stick whatever you want on. <laughs> For Amanda only. <laughs> the pin number is... <laughs> yeah. CVC. <laughs> Anyone listening today in, uh, who also has her HSE details? So, well, I am now looking to push it past 100. Ooh. Smacked out to mid off. Andy that's, Mays. That's a confident batsman. Andy Mays, who uh, rejoins us again after a brief spell of rowing. It's certainly built like a rower. Big units. No, Graham, you're a big unit. He looks like a rower. <laughs> Body shaming. Okay, that's how we're starting this season. Okay. No, no, okay, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're only on the on mic. The Nobody yeah, could see you. <laughs> Nobody could see you, so you're the one who's body shaming yourself. I'm just saying you're not built like a rower. There's small rowers there out there. there someone, you can someone... see them now. <laughs> no, I'm hiding under the desk, thank you. No, you're on the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's behind you. As you can see, Pembroke has installed a new blue <laughs> side screen. <laughs> <laughs> If I wear, next that? week, next week I'll be wearing a green T-shirt, and we'll be doing the weather. <laughs> what's what's um, on the shirt today? Oh, just a, yeah, I didn't go with a cricket T-shirt today. Sorry. Oh, just, just I know. Thought, I have, just thought you you're all in the wash. And what about? Have you got your Pembroke oh, stripes in the, in the? No, they're still in the bag. Still to get changed. I decided not to go to the Helix with uh, wearing my Pembroke gear. Jeez. Oh, I went down. Oh, you've been jabbed, have you? Yeah, I got it today. Did you get one and done? One, no, no, um, another one now in four weeks. Pfizer. Pfizer. Pfizer, yeah. Excellent. By the way, well done, HSC. Excellent run operation. Yes. Oh, it's in the air. Oh, too wide a Joe and not long enough for Noah. Managed to thread the eye of the needle. Fine ball by Donica. Oh, no, I've done with the rest. They don't have the rest. That's all right. Uh, but the last one was Aaron Norton and Nanny's figures, two for 17. Oh, he'll be happy. Is that his four overs done, is it? Excellent. It's in the air. Oh, it should be one. Yeah, just, the one. just the one to know. nicely. The experience of Andrew Leonard there, covering, for his, covering for his colleague. Welcome, boys. It's often the best way is just to keep moving when you're that age. Yeah. If you stand still and stop, that's it. You can't get going again. Oh, it's, it's, it's all that experience. It's experience. Played out the offside, and this time oh. Andy's ball. And... He's going to oh, yeah, super, 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 yeah. super fielding by Andy Leonard. So the Andrew Leonard Appreciation Society uh, just would like to welcome you. Andy, <laughs> Andy, yeah. two for 17. Very disappointing. Should have been three for 14. Well balled by Donegan. Well, if you felt better, it could have been. Thanks, <laughs> We're in the 16th over now, and YMCA have moved on to 99 for five. Two wickets to Andy. And that's played away on the offside. Oh, I like the batsman, that. the non striker, deciding uh, against the single. The batsman not too happy with that decision, but then again, he was going to a very safe end. Yes. Hello, in today's game with the field. Yeah, your standards. job's to hold on to those or put them in your bag or your pocket or something. It's just bales. Oh. Um, what are they? When are they? For us. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with the ones that are out there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Donick is starting at all. It's, it's as if he's just bowled 50 overs. Oh. Every time he bowls. And there we go, the first intercity train of the new season. Just for your and the score, as you can see, 99 for 5 off 16. An excellent fight back here from... from it is indeed. When That's Mr so Shetty was in. Mm. Well, at one stage there were 78 for 2. Mm, it certainly has been dragged back a bit now. 10 overs. So and this looks like McDara again. And McDara, who is, seems... Everyone seems to change their action this year. I was going to say, he was a, two years ago when he played in that six cup run. Yeah. He uh, he was a medium pacer. And now it's all spin. It's oh, it's going to drop safe. It, it's it's funny as he. Put That's on, the hundred up for YMCA. As he put on the heights, crowd go mad. 
Yeah, very partisan crowd here. I love, I love Bull Durham when they're, they're commentating on away games. So they're, they're sort of listening to it there. And it, yes. <laughs> to there. <laughs> yeah. There's our chairman of selectors, Mr Noel Goff, on his first lap of the day. It's in the air. Oh, oh, just past Donica's outstretched right hand. But Goes again. out to the boundary and just a single again. Again, well, well bowled from McDara. The inning seems to have lost a lot of its impetus. I mean, uh, wickets mm. certainly do do that. But they're, the last boundary now is, oh, at least five hours ago. And he says it's that's gone big and so, <laughs> umpire's curse. Or and it's gone for four. Curse. Sorry, commentator's curse there. Well, it just shows... Uh, Our first boundary in a few hours. Yeah. This is the number, number seven batsman, Aaron Norton. Well, from ball one, he's been looking to uh, play his shots. And that's the job of number seven. Oh. Clipped away. Well fielded. That's how you do it, lads. Mm -hmm. Even though it wasn't quite picked up cleanly, he picked it up well enough. Mm. Poor delivery there. Hi, the ladies. Back. How are we? Yeah, you can stand up. It's not on you. Oh, oh trying to play better. that away to third man again. A little bit of extra pace, but the length was the difference there from McNair. Good flights, well played. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have to ask in between innings what um, made McDowell change. <laughs> Are spinners cool again? Yeah. So that's cool. uh, 17 overs done. The score has moved on to 107 for five. That uh, total of 170 now is certainly looking out of reach. They'll be looking, Pembroke will be looking to keep it below 120. Have we asked for texts in for the? Uh, oh, we've asked for all sorts of things. Nobody's, yeah. nobody's, no, nobody's awake. Everyone's in the beer garden. <laughs> Two o'clock. Bar should be open now. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure he's at the Marion Gates. <laughs> Philip burned at the Marion Gates. Yes. Oh, there's been a drop in the Irish game. What did Aaron finish? I missed that. Was in the. Good. Oh, oh. No. miss stumping. Yeah. Run out. No, and they miss. Miss the hole. Not out. No, he looked to be in. Looked into me. The fielders are not too happy though. They're quite sure he wasn't. We're going to get a replay here, but should have been a stumping though as well. Ball from now off. I can't keep saying that. Uh, and he's given a leg by. Dutch now 39 for no wicket, chasing Ireland's 163. It's a fine start by them. Yeah, just batch her over us and did you see? Back. Did you see uh, Porterfield got dropped? Yes. And then Kevin. Agree. And then Kevin was fourth ball duck. Fourth ball duck. <laughs> ah, it's always the way though, isn't it? The problem was, Porterfield wasn't any better, so much for muchness. That was a big one. That was nowhere near where he thought that was going to go. This is an excellent length. Now, JP has bowled himself out. Andy's bowled out. This is uh, Donica's third over, I think. See no reason for him not to bowl the last no, one at the moment. No. He's bowled this over very well. As long as he kept something. this tight. Oh, is it? Okay. Ooh, oh, it's in the air! Oh, it's just gone over his head and that's gone for four, so that takes the score up to 113. A little bit of width there. Yeah, he just gives the player batsman enough to swing his arms. He's going to. Uh, it is surprising the fielder wasn't on the ring at this stage of the game. DT. Well, that's just a full Good toss that's been hit straight out to Azizi. That's terrible fielding. What was that? Oh, it definitely gone for four. What happened there? It, it, it died on him and he didn't go down on it. He just let it hit himself. Yeah. That's a shame. That takes the score up to 117.
That's, that's fairly poor. Yeah, Whispering, it doesn't make it any better. Who was winning? The umpire was in an excellent position. I don't know why they were so adamant. Okay. Important two overs here now. Pembroke would be hoping for no more than 15, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> Are you aiming it at me? No, the other one is under your other foot. I'm just putting them all back there against that pile of mud, really. Okay, so is this... Pooey? Oh, this is Poo. Yeah. Poo Sharma. Has he bowled earlier today? Poo Sharma? I was a late... Arrival. Hasn't bowled before today. Yeah. This season. <laughs> and he's been asked to bowl the 19th. Now. Oh, with pace on. Pace on. This this batsman is just going to have a go. Yeah. It's, yeah. White chocolate biscuits. Mm hmm. Brad yeah. Padel. Mm. Played one game. No. No, he's not. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen him yet this season. No, he's not come down this season yet. Oh. Has he? Yeah. Very... Yeah. In the... In the group. In the WhatsApp group. No. No, I think, think anybody with sanity has left the fourth group. I know. It's on silent. I like it just for a joke to look at every song. You like it because it's shit-stirring. <laughs> And you like to get involved in that. I have not made one comment on you. Yet. Not not on the group. Much better. Oh, it's going to be four. That's going to be four. If you're going to flash, flash hard. Mm. That's five Which always from... reminds me of Blackadder. Oh, yes. Flash hard! Lord, Lord Flash Hard is proper title, please. <laughs> Exercise my back. So five from one delivery. Yeah, that's not the grass start that Pooh wanted. Yes. Small changes in the field. JP sending himself back to the nets. Looking for the big smash here now. Stutter in the run up from Pooh. Another yes. one off the edge. This time it goes down to Samson, at the third man, who eventually fields it. Fires it back in. Hardly going to trouble Mr. Jackson's gloves with that throw. 121. Yes. It'll be interesting to see what they end up with. He needs to bowl this a little fuller. Division 14 game later. Or, sorry, Russell Court Trophy game later. Fiss will be hoping to get 120. Hmm? I think it's Ed Sports and Russell Court, isn't it? It's, it's both. Yeah. yeah. Obviously the crowd during the day is going to build up. I see um, Brian Bannigan down in the nets. Been a long time since he's been in the nets. He does have Fred with him now. Smacked out on the offside, straight to Donica Tucker, dot ball. Exactly what Pembroke are looking for. He's digging this in just short of a length. Might not be the wicket for that. No. Oh, he's getting, the, he's getting away with it, that delivery. As long as he keeps it straight. If he gives any wits, the batsman will latch on. Yeah, was, the man doesn't drink hot coffee. I don't know why we bother getting him hot coffee. He puts it down and then four hours later goes back to it. Oh, that should be three wides. Don't know what he was trying there. You played later, <laughs> Excuse me, I have. It's been 30 years since I bowled the ball that bad. 
Oh, so. oh, yes, it has. <laughs> you know we record yes, games. You know yeah, we record yeah. games now, yeah? <laughs> that was on a second pitch, Nick. Come on, let's let's be fair. Yeah. Today's the day, Graham. Yeah. Graham setting himself impossible standards now. I said I, I never said like poo. I never said I've never bowled a ball like that. I just said it's been a while. Oh, oh, oh! And that's nearly, a similar to run out. Nearly. Batsman not communicating, both looking at the ball. Left both of them at the wrong end. And Poo put in a smart enough throw to uh, young Andrew Jackson, who had the simplest to talk, Alec Jackson, who had the Thanks. simplest to task to whip off the bails. Actually, it wasn't the greatest of throws, it was well high. Great leap to, to take it. <laughs> And for some reason... So the score then, 126, 125 for six in the 18th over, 19th over. Oh, they're going to be too quick to replay that, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, Boulder's about to... Here we go. There's a very quick changeover. Pooh coming in again. Much better, lads. Just pushed out on the offside. Oh, They'll nice. just take the single. There'll be no two there, surely. Not to Donica oh. Tucker. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. So that's the end of the 19th over. The score's yeah. moved on to 126 for six. That was, that was good to see the batsman is getting a warning from the up. Well, not official, but a little. Aaron Knobson's still there on 15. Running straight down the track. Well, now we can have a look at And we have no idea who's at the other end. And um, we have no idea who will be bowling the. Oh, is it? It's easy. It's easy. Okay, he looks running for you. striding in. Here we go. Big yes. Look, ball watching. Ball watching. Both. Now, batsman turns the wrong way. Comes up, looks, no. decides he can make it. Yeah. The other batsman has said no, and then he says, oh, the brakes aren't working. Andy Leonard again. See the sheer professionalism backing up his wicket keeper even in that state. And there's his back now. So the last over of the first innings of this Tulane Cup game. YMCA seconds and Pembroke seconds. It always sounds, it sounds like a reject shop, doesn't it? That'll be a five o'clock. Smacked out to the covers, fielded there. Keep it simple. I said just the single, 127. The sun now bathing the ground. Yep. Mr. Leonard's gotten the guns out. Right, what would you call them, Derringers? Zishi comes into bowl. Very uh, that's skiddy he, action he has. That's when he used his feet well. But just the single again, that's good. Happily take this, I think, at this stage of the innings. I think, I think both sides would be happy with the first run. I think YM will be delighted that they got over a run a ball. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, always used to be the par figure before the IPL turned up. Big hoy. Another single. Should he, should he, if it's cleanly fielded, yeah, very good work out there. Cap Captain Joe has come from the nets all the way up to the same spot at the other end. And he's doing a lot of running, but taking on the responsibility himself. On 28. Big open stance from the batsman. Clears that front nice. foot, plays it out to Joe again. It'll be another single again. Good stuff. Good simple cricket. Very good. Well, the captain's here. So, Andy, what's it like being the only person built, born in the last century on this team? Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh. Swing and a miss. Batsman did. You're like a fine wine. Or cheese. Is that is that court? Is that the terminology court? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Smacked out the ground. Good. This time to mid off. There's only going to be one oh. there. Andy Leonard makes sure it's only one. Brings the ball back in. Such experience. And that, ladies and gentlemen, means one thirty. <laughs> I think Pembroke should be very happy with that, considering why we're, we're, we're at 10 overs. Absolutely. Absolutely. What was it, 78 for 2 off yeah, 10? Yeah. And brought it back. 22, 40, 51 off the last 10. You'd be happy with that? Very much so. 
Some excellent bowling from Mr. Leonard and Mr. Tucker. Look, it was a mixed bag. I mean, there was a lot of Support good balls in there, but a, 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 a lot of... Well, again, first game of the season. And, you know, for, for all the netting we've done, and I assume the seconds have done more than we have. We've done no fielding training. We've done no fielding training. The only fielding training is when you bowl in the nets and somebody smacks it back over your head. Oh, I'll get it. And you walk out to go and get it. There's been no actual fielding practice that I've seen. No. That's why um, I'm worried about the first be bending or having to uh, move quickly to my left or right. Just having to move quickly, I think, Ryan. I don't know why today would be any different to any other day. That's why Ubers need to come back sooner. JP leading his side off, which with his north for 23, you'd think he'd let somebody else lead them off. That is correct. That is correct. Do our own press today? Those two guys in the back. Well, oh, hey. Yeah, hey. So that's not a bad innings for Pembroke, 132 for six. Not a bad innings for YMCA. It's an evenly balanced game. It's the first game of the year. We have no idea how it's going to go from here. All we know is that somebody on the Pembroke side is going to have to take the responsibility to anchor the innings and, and get them close. Reply. About to get underway. Chasing 132, 133 to win. I would like to think we've got deep today. Looking at our layout. Here's a new name for me, Jürgen Spanderhorst. Yeah, that's, that's Jürgen's there. Welcome, Jürgen's. I probably said did not say that anywhere close to being correct, but anyway. I'll no, it's pronounced hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> I'll call you a lot worse once it, once you get out there to bat. Yeah. I've been called a lot of us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but not not live on air. Yeah. I'm not, I, hope, <laughs> I really hope you've no family watching today. I'm not kind. Samson, wicket with your first ball. Yes. It was all downhill after yes, that. Yeah. <laughs> Good start. Yes, That's a, well, that's a nice batting line up the first five. Oh, yeah. At the moment, the list we've been given so far, we've Joe one, Jurgen's two, and we have Andrew Mays coming in three, followed by Dara at four, and maybe Noah at five. There is a question mark beside the five. And that's it so far. Okay. Okay. We just go with the GoPro. Clearing. Yeah. We saw also um, good to see um, Alkbar re registered, so hopefully we'll get some games out of him this year. Yeah. You should be back live, I hope. Andy Mays, another one who's returned this year, came onto the ground today. Well, that's not, not it. Ooh. That's this, not very entertaining. This challenge received. <laughs> Trick that out. Well, that has to be one of the more surreal uh, screens that our YouTube channel has managed. OK, he's on the acid. And in fact, it's not on. Uh, what should you do? What's wrong? Yeah, my it's my bag. It's in. Well, she can use yours if you don't mind. But whatever your easiest. <laughs> I'm now on that one. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it then. If you can't see it easy, don't worry about it. I'll come up. I'm sure I put it in there, I could be wrong. But I'll, I'll come up and have a look. Cheers. Well, 
We are live. Slight delay on it, but we are live. And for... Okay, Ireland's trying to fight back here. Uh, just give you the score from the Ireland Holland game because obviously everyone is watching us and not them as it should be. Um, Holland are 66 for one off 15 overs. So, they need, 164. They need 98 runs of 211 deliveries. So unless the Dutch decide to take a break in a coffee shop um, for a little while, um, I think they should be taking the series 2-1. So the players are back out in the middle now. Captain Joe Prendergast accompanying Jürgens. Jürgens Brad, Badenholst. Of the Baden Badens. Baden Baden. Baden Baden. Lovely resort town. Joe will be looking to get his side off to a good start. Once again, the responsibility of Captain Steve falling heavily on his shoulders. Bowling his four overs, making sure he was fielding in the busiest spot all the way through. Leading, directing. Wants to lead from the front here. Wants to get his side off to a good start. Very hard as captain to give out to everybody else. In interesting fielding, field setting from YM. They've picked their two fielders outside the ring on the leg side. One deep square leg, one deep fine leg. Good length from the bowler. Yeah, but well played by Joe. Yeah. Soft hands. Mm -hmm. It was never a cut. It went straight into the ground. Did not carry the first slip. No, well, have you got scissors on your pen knife? <laughs> Second ball now. Short, Short and oh, punched away, punched square in the wicket on the leg side, and that races away across the beautifully cut outfield, hits the wall, and that's four runs off second ball. Joe will be happy with that. It's a good start. That 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 is a fine example of how not to over hit it or try to hit the ball too hard. Just beautifully punched that through the gap, all timing, and a massive gap there as well. Yeah, that, like square leg had no chance getting to that yeah. one. And a wide. wide ball. Loose. The ball moved a little there for the bowler, but he started off too wide with the stumps. Yeah, I, I, I don't like to see a deep fine leg. It, it says you don't trust your wiki. says you don't trust well, your bowler. Yeah. He's going to be drifting onto the legs there. You'd, you'd like to see this the move around the clock warms position. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Okay, delivery three. Shorts. Ah, and that's nicely played yeah. by you and just punched out there. No, no, we're still, still Joe. Yeah, still Joe. Yeah, no, it's good. Okay. It's really stiff. No, it's not. It's Yuri. Five, five in the over so far. He's just getting his eye in nicely. Okay, change the field here. On you there, Mm -hmm. YM are bringing huh? in deep square leg, bringing <clears throat> and sending out Kev. Also, fine leg is coming up, and it's you will break a nail on Deep it. third man has gone in. Somebody round the corner, is there? Yep, deep third man. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. That's three outside the ring, as far as I can count. Oh, oh, oh! oh it's gone down. It's gone down. Edge there from Joe. Very wide. Chased it. Got an edge onto it. Keeper could only parry it. Past first slip. I think first slip left it for the wiki on the second attempt. Thank you. Thank you both. Oh. Played away on the offside. Sneaks a single inside the ring. I'm sorry, I'm a bit. I'm not up with the regs for this level. How many outside the ring? Five. Oh, you're allowed five outside the ring, okay. I do have the regulations printed off. 
But I'm sure our captain does too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's different at this level, though. It's not. Oh, OK. Anything below first level is got its own set of regulations. OK, so here's Jurgen's first ball of the season. Well played. Oh, nicely run by Joe. He was well alert there for the single. Again, another one that's just dropped into the circle, and he takes the single, and that's all you need. The bowler just dropped, just drifted a tiny bit onto the legs there, but Jurgen played it expertly. Just dropped it there. A good roll. Uh, just seven off the first over. Nice starts. No wickets down. Excellent starts. Which is where YM fell. Their openers fell quite early. Good scissors. So it looks like another pace bowler from YMCA. I think you'll find Ruben Wilson. Okay. This is his first game for YM. He made the move during the winter months from North Kalair, I think. Or Phoenix. One of the other. One of your previous clubs. One you of mean. my previous clubs. I definitely recognise the name. <laughs> I just don't know which previous club. <laughs> it definitely wasn't Commonwealth CC, based in Boston. Are you absolutely 100% sure about that? I'll put a bottle of gin on it. Oh, really? You're as sure of, of that yeah. as you are of hitting sixes, then? <laughs> so, not very. Never mind one brings two, need one to bring about five here. <laughs> the Night Watchman on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, drifts. Wide ball. The feeling so I got very excited for a moment. Thought they heard something. The umpire was resolute in his decision. White. Another one onto the total. With the time now at 2.30. It's time for the dentist. Ooh, oh, that's, that's well bold. That, that has cleaned him up, and the umpire again giving out a bold. <laughs> Maybe it's a new instruction for the umpires yeah. this year. But um, Joe looking. Oh, no, that's your. Scoring what? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, it's clean balls. All right. No, no. Looking to play one to leg there. That was just a little too full and straight for that shot. Where is it? Look to whip it. This one. So Sorry, that's, that's your, your guns out, isn't it? No. Oh, it's come off the pad. Was missing leg, hit the pads, it is and took off. And that's the end of Jurgen's uh, Badenhorst. And now making his return to Pembroke Colours, return to the field. Andy Mays, fresh from his rowing in UCD. So what? What is it? Four, six, eight? Does he row? <laughs> Yeah. It wouldn't fit many more in the boat with him in it. He'd be a small lad. If you look at the lads who do the boat race or the Olympic rowing, um, see when they do when they do uh, national rowing and such, you can have lightweights, and that makes a big difference. And the Irish often do well in the lightweights, but when it becomes the heavyweights and mm. your pincets and Red graves. Sir, Sir Red graves. So Andy Miley's. Be a new crew for me then, they're looking for some heavyweights. <laughs> no, it's Graham's fine. I know the cinema's open too, but huh? So Ruben Ruben Wilson. Be delighted with that one. Eight for one. Off in the second over. Mm. Well, the YM fielders are certainly uh, enthusiastic so far. All fielders are enthusiastic the day after, the ball after a wicket. Hoping for two, maybe three. It's certainly an encouraging start. 
Pembroke need another 125. Sun is very late, well and truly out now. Blue almost outnumbering white in the sky. Well played by Andy Mays. Not a tremendous amount of footwork, but uh, realised very easy. That was the ball to uh, keep out. A huge degree of enthusiasm amongst the uh, YM fielders. What a great day to come down and watch cricket. The bar will open eventually. The bar may open eventually. At some point in the season. Oh, way no, down no, the leg side, no, no. way down the leg side. Rumours here would have been a good ball to a right-hander. Excellent keeping. That was that would have gone to the boundary if he yeah. missed that. There's no fine leg in place for this bowler. Third man. Mm. Just maybe losing his line to the left-hander. That was a nice delivery to a right-hander. Car park filling up now. Ruben Wilson, again, Andrew Mays in no particular rush. And why would he be? Just out to the middle, first innings for a while. One has to question how many nets he's managed to attend. Must be the last ball of the over. Ah, Rubens comes in. So. Another full Yorker. He certainly found his length, Rubens. He'll be happy enough with that over. That's a fine over. Score then, nine for one off two. 122 required. 123 required. 124 required. The bank is starting to fill up just in front of the dark line as well. Yeah. Well, I have to say, uh, it's a nice elevation to watch the games from, but f two things. Firstly, it's a bit more open than sitting on the wall, and secondly, it's so far away. Yeah. Drifting to leg again. Another, another wide. wide. Having another. a left-hander in there, yes. obviously proving to Pembroke's advantage. Another nice delivery for the So the over isn't over. We'll keep going. Yeah, these two, it's, it's, these two overs are taking a fair amount of time. <laughs> Again on the legs, and this time May plays it round to the leg side. Joe makes it to the far end. Joe is wide awake to these things. It's amazing how being captain has, has improved Joe's concentration. And here's the barman. Yay, the biggest cheer of the day goes up around the ground. Where? White t-shirt, down by the gate, talking to Bill Whaley. All oh, right. An honour guard should be put in place soon. I see an esteemed past president. Judge Michael Moriarty walking around the boundary rope. Yeah. Ashley Balboni has stopped his laps now. He's done his exercise for the day, got his steps in. And now, bowling from the far end, Nafu Ahmed Alamula. Hi, Michael. Time and management being brought to things. Yeah. <laughs> I can't pitch for pitch I'm a black and red. Uh, we're, we're the black. Black, oh, yes. We're yeah. the black with red, and why am I the red with white? <laughs> Fine, big Short ball, it's gone straight up in the air. Andy Mays, toe of the bat. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, at least Joe had the presence of mind to cross. Yes. Again, Joe is really on his game here today. He's, he's been wide awake and alert for all of this. Now, Pembroke opting for youth in the shape of McDarrah Cosgrave. Going in at number four. Unlucky, Andy. 
just off the bottom of the bat. Yeah. I think you need to net a bit and move your feet. I think that's that, that might help. But good to see you out there again. And here it is. Just try to pull it from outside off, and as a result, just got the edge of the bat, and then realised that, oh, they had crossed. Oh, and it's done. So, 11 for two. Joe Prendergast. Discussion going on between batsman and, and umpire as to which batsman should be at which end. Joe goes up. Joe goes up to the umpire's end and leaves McDara to face. Have they crossed? I thought they had. Well, the replay shows they had. <laughs> yes, but actual facts don't really matter. No. What actually matters is what the umpires say. First one was taken well and quickly. McDowell off the mark. And Pembroke off 11. It's going to need a stand somewhere to chase down this total. It's not the biggest total out there. The question is, will it be enough? Joe taking his singles very well. Really the uh, added burden. Responsibility of being captain. Certainly has produced a more alert Joe. Certainly awake to every possibility. Played out on the offside. That's very well fielded. He saved his uh, side three runs there. Super Peter Fielding in the uh, covers there, applauding himself. Score moves on to 14 in the third over. Joe now on six, McDowell now on two. Small alterations in the field. The cover fielder comes in a bit closer, looking more for the catch. Playing very well, just dropping that ball into the leg side where he knew he could get a single. Takes the single. Takes the score on to 15. Reminds me of that. Pushes that one past the outstretched hand of the fielder. Square the wicket on the offside. Chase down. Take two there. Score on 17. And that's three overs done. And the score on 17. So nothing wrong with the run rate. Just those two wickets to have fallen haven't helped Pembroke's cause. But it only takes one stand now. One good stand could really help here. Have a seat. Even if you're not saying anything, have a seat. Is that better? Can you see? Rubens Wilson now to bowl the fourth over after his successful first over, which was the second over. Rubin has grown a few feet over the winter, as can be evidenced by the length of his whites. That's well called through by McDerra, straight onto the fact the wicket keeper hadn't taken it. Umpire signalling by. 
you want it, is it? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, aren't you? Why is scoreboard not right? <laughs> huh? Feel free to volunteer. <laughs> Why do you want some cream? No, I'm good thanks. No, thanks. Fifteen, isn't that olive oil? Factor fifteen. So I'm McDarrah to face Rubens. Ruben Wilson takes the edge wider first slip, goes down to third man who, who this fields it and keeps it to a single. Just about. All a bit frantic down there at third man. If you're going to edge, edge wider slip. Takes the score on to 19. comes Rubens now. It's a nice action he has and a good length, but this time he's straight onto the pads. It's clipped wide on the out to square leg. Good fielding out there, keeps it down to two. Takes the score on to 21 for two. Sun has definitely uh, taken root here in Pembroke now. People on the wall in just t-shirts and shorts. Joe looking to get onto the front foot, plays it well, wide, wide third man, it's going round, the fielder gets there in time, and it's another two to Joe, another two onto the total, total goes on to 23 for two, and we're still in the fourth over. Joe has now moved on to double figures. And the scoreboard has leapt up to 23. So now on 11, Dara on 5, and Reuben Wilson coming into bowl, the end of the fourth over. And he's just clipped the top of off stump, and that is a lovely delivery. Absolutely superb delivery. And that's the third wicket down, 23 on the board. And this time the captain has to depart. Just pushing, not real, any real footwork there, and just pushing at the ball, but left the gap. And it was beautiful delivery that just clipped the top of our stump. As any young bowler should be trying to do. And that's the end of Captain Joe Prendergast. He goes for 11. No footwork at all. Even after the ball's gone past, the footwork still wasn't enough. Stump's disturbed. <laughs> And Pembroke <coughs> putting themselves into a bit of trouble. New batsman to the crease, Noah Smith. Another recent graduate from the fifths. And he comes in with his side needing a bit of assistance. 110 required off 17. 16.1. Oh, that's a beautiful sky out there now. It almost looks like the opening credits to The Simpsons. Clouds stretched across, white and fluffy. See if we can get a shot for our viewers. Noah does well to dig that one out, bat and pad firmly together. There we go. The Simpsons. So with four overs gone, score is 23 for three. First three batsmen have decided to return to the pavilion. Captain Joe, Jurgens, and Andrew Mays. 
They'd have been hoping for one of those to go on a bit. The voice of reason, Joe Prendergast, captain, encouraging his team. But certainly YMCA would feel that they're on top here, favourites going in. Change of bowling at the far end. Another seamer. A slight misfield between the two players, one pushing it past the other, and that's two. McDara and Noah now. Played nicely wide of mid on. He manages to get across to stop it, but he can't stop the two. Two more to McDara. Takes him on to nine, takes a score on 27. Yes, if you're thinking of coming down, I can assure you that the coffee store is open. Paddy Halvin there, dishing out the lattes, cappuccinos, Americanos. And now Philip Byrne is in behind the bar. The bar is officially open. And the bar is yeah. open. Mr. Jackson was the first customer. For a pint? Yeah. Excellent. Several. Uh, maybe not for himself, but <laughs> Now, McDarrah to face again. This is the fifth over. Nicely driven, nicely fielded, but there'll be a single there. Again, the fielding, fine fielding there by YM. Body behind it. Bold, as he said. If the bowler's going to bowl one that seems swings away and then seems back in. Nice. Now, when he looks at it back again on YouTube, as no doubt he will, <laughs> uh, he'll see that his footwork was non-existent. Oh, okay. In fact, at the end of this over, Niall might show it again. So just so we can see. In fact, we might show it at the end of every over. <laughs> Oh, well, we wouldn't do that to Joe. He's he's having a fine game. Yep. There's a man down at deep third man. Saving another one there. This YM side have already saved, I'd say, 10 runs anyway in the field. Comes the Euro star. The Euro port train. Belfast Rosslair. Nice shot again. Played out much wider on the offside. Third man can't get to that. It runs under the covers. And McDarrah picks up a boundary. That takes him on to 14. Score on to 34, I think. I say I think because the scoreboard. There we go. The scoreboard always slightly behind. Yeah, Joe didn't really move his feet. You're watching yourself there, Joe. Yeah, it was a ball, wasn't it? Well, we're going to get Niall to bring it up now and play it again for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And do you know what? Doesn't matter what, how big the screen gets, your feet still don't move. <laughs> well, I got forward okay. Yeah. okay. Well, what, watch your footwork now. I think it's this one, the last one. Yeah. Yeah, it is this one. There you are, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, but it's look at your they feet. signed Jimmy Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> look at your feet. <laughs> There's a big gap there, Joe. It's not laughing straight to top of all. Not at all. Your gap. feet didn't move at all. Don't look at the ball. Look at your feet. It's a massive gap. It's gone past my outside edge. Yeah. It's in the whole world. <laughs> 
You did not get across, Joe. We'll be keeping that clip for the awards tonight. Showing it again in slow motion. I mean, Backwards. Where did he take guard on leg stump? Uh, pitch seven, I think. A little bit longer there. I was just about to go quarter speed. Oh, I love it in slow mo. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow mo. Anyway, whatever the thoughts about it, it doesn't change the fact that he's back in the. In the hutch, yeah. Well, we're not allowed in the hutch now, are we? That's lovely. Finally, cracks through the offside. McDara takes the four runs, running it right up to the bar front door. Now the target is under 100. 95 required. McDara just letting that one go through to the keeper. It's all right, it's that camera that's on. This is fine bowling. Ruben bowling his third over. The way I'm captain in desperate search of wickets. No, but the way I'm captain is keeping him on because he's been bowling so well. Again, one wonders what will the change bowling and bowler number five be like. Will that be where Pembroke get their runs? McDara crossed himself there. Walking out towards square leg, contemplating, playing a shot he should have played, as opposed to the crossback swipe he did play. Easiest way just to feather one through. Rubens will be very happy with this. What is it? Three out? Is that what you said? Or five? I think it's five. Uh, now, uh, again, I don't, I don't, I don't read Tulane that carefully. Super running there by uh, Captain Encouraging from the sideline. Takes us on to 40 with six overs gone. Run rate exactly where we want it to be. Sorry. Run rate exactly where the Pembroke side would want it to be. Oh, it does look like YouTube might be having real problems. Why? Uh, I have to do a research between the overs. And here's the start of the seventh over now. McDara, Over. yep, yeah. McDara on 20, exactly half of the Pembroke 40, scored by the other four batsmen. McDara again, just pushes it downtown to mid off, mid on, takes the single. Puts Noah back on strike, Noah hasn't had strike for a while. Turn that into two. If you're going to flash, flash hard. Two of the elder lemons of the club now are joining us here. Obviously, heard that the bar is now open. 
Sue me and Vanigan. So long they'd have been out in the middle. But now with fatherhood and added responsibilities and aging bodies, they've decided that discretion is the better part of valor. And now their contribution is more financial behind the bar than runs and wickets on the field of play. McDarrett face again now. Playing his shots, plays it out in the offside, just takes a single as the boundary rider comes in and underarms it back. Game. Yeah, he's not watching this game, that's for sure. Andy? Pembroke have four players today in that Irish side. Captain Andrew Balburnie, Josh Little, Barry McCarthy, and wicketkeeper Lorcan Tucker. Missing four from the first 11 when you've got the top three sides playing today. Phil Blackley in his thirds out in Clontarf. The first with Fia Kratoka out in North Kildare. And the seconds, well, the seconds are here. Another fine run single there by Noah Smith. Two young lads doing very well. Bit of understanding between them. Nerves getting to you, Sean, are they? Come down for a whiskey. Uh, you should have stayed on the beer. Or yeah, that's a problem with the really you have to get later. <laughs> the new roof looks well. This is nice. Yeah. It's the old frame. It it's the old frame, but just oh, new. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, it's a very close frame. I've finally had about more than once. Who is it? YouTube, it's been on and off all day, oh, given out. Okay. But it's lying most of the time. So here we are now, entering the eighth over. Score is 46 for three. Noah Smith now on five. Played out in the offside, no run there. And McDara is now on 22. You have to go in front of the fence. Rachel. Rachel, go in front of the fence. In front of the fence, Rachel. Well played, well played by Noah Smith. Just guiding that down to third man, just taking the single, despite the calls from the sideline. Let's be honest, you should never run on calls from the sideline. I think it's this guy here, darling. I think that's who it is. Bambi. What? Tambi, yeah. <laughs> These change of bowlers now. Oh, that's lovely, lovely cut through the gap. Having played the previous ball down there to the fielder, this time he made the slight adjustment and there was no doubt that was going for four all the way through. Pembroke seconds, YM thirds in this Tulane gut qualifier. First game of the season and first game in Pembroke 2021. McDarrah trying to guide that down through the slip area, missing it completely. McDara also playing it down to third man. Another single, takes the score on 52. And there are two to come, is it? We'll have a look at the match centre now, see what's happening around and about. Nobody's really reporting on stuff, including this game. Oh, that's wide again. Wide ball, despite the umpire uh, turning down the appeal. In the Senior League Cup, YMCA first, 152 for six in their 20 overs. 
And in reply, Terenure 16 for one. Oh, missed that one. <coughs> and that's the end of the eighth over here at Sydney Parade. A very warm, enjoyable Sydney Parade. Certainly a lot better starting the season in June than April. A lot warmer anyway. The wicketkeeper is running off to the sideline to get his own helmet. Suspect that a spinner is coming on. So Terenure is 16 for one, chasing YMCA's 152 for six. Railway are still 29 for two. Merrion against Balbriggan. and Merrion <coughs> 126 for seven. And Balbriggan are 43 for no wicket. Makes that interesting. Pembroke first has got 141 for five. And North Kildare a 35 for two. Dublin University, 96 for two against Phoenix. North County, 105 for four against the Hills. And the Hills third, 76 for three, playing not highly seconds. 38 games of cricket being played in Leinster today. And that's only accounting the official competition games. No other scores in yet. Oh, Clontarf first, 124 for two. They've gone all the way down to Cork. That's super stuff by Noah Smith there, just dropping that into the offside and just taking the single, taking what he's given. Thirty-eight games of cricket today. It's up in the air. It's past the one-handed attempt. One felt he didn't have to jump that far, and that's gone for four. That takes McDara on to 32. One felt that was a chance. If he'd gone for it with both hands. Well, if he hadn't jumped, he might have taken it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more here. Another one just punched out into the offside, past the fielder. Fielder from mid-on, covering behind, keeps it down to one. That takes Madara on to 33, the score on to 60. So there's certainly nothing wrong with the scoring rate, and the noise of the fielding side has quietened a bit since these two have started putting a stand together. Noah looking to play that one down to third man, or just pass wide to third man. It's beautifully played, played in the gap between wicketkeeper and third man. Saves the boundary. Didn't stop Pembroke running three, but certainly saved the fourth. Just getting there in time. Cries are well fielded from the Pembroke bench. Appreciation of good cricket, more important. And Joe is taking a drink out to his players at the ten, uh, after nine overs. <laughs> Umpire is being very lenient in allowing drinks go out to the batsmen. There are no drinks, breaks. Oh, absolutely. It's the only way he could stop Noah nicking his gear. <laughs> So, <clears throat> into the 10th over now. Pembroke going very nicely along, just over a runner ball. As I say, no problem with the run rate. He 
He's playing, no, he's playing very well with his shot selection. He's not trying to over hit the ball or anything. He's, he's very good. He's thick the better. Yeah. He's given McDowell a lot of strike as well. Yeah, no, that's that's important. Yeah. Take that. Okay, what a result. Take it. They're only very well together. They are. They are. They understand each other and they trust each other. I think you're ahead. But only just, yeah, nose in front. Up to YM to take some wickets here. <laughs> YM were 80 on this, 10 overs. So. Yeah, 78 for two off 10, and uh, fell away a bit in the second 10. Well played by Noah. No, he's good on. They all have good arms, actually. It's fine fielding. Yeah. I do feel YM's fielding has been slightly better than Pembroke's. Yeah. <laughs> Noah advancing down the track. To... <laughs> yeah. Morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome to the game. What was I talking to the other? Oh, we might need some more water. <laughs> and ice. Go on in the box. Go on in the box. Noah. <coughs> Deep breaths. Count them. Paddy doing all right down there, do you think? I think Paddy's doing great, yeah. Good. Johnny Garth on the ground. Well, fair play to Dale McDonough and GM by choice. The ground looking fabulous today. Always helps a bit of sunshine and the flowers are out on the fence. But the place is looking uh, fabulous today. He's still down, Noah. Hasn't quite made it back to his feet yet. Sun is still beaming down here at Pembroke. Plenty of, a few spaces on the wall for those uh, latecomers or those who are just coming down for the fist game. Something like. This small break in play. As uh, He's going to want to play on. However, we'll see now what he does. The temptation after you've been hit like that is to start trying to hit the ball hard in retaliation. Let's hope that Noah keeps his head and keeps playing the way he's been playing. A few of the YM players taking advantage of the right to get a drink. And in fact, I think I might just do that as well. Hmm. That changed something. Yeah. Doesn't look like it has changed. I'm going to have to go back and look at that again. Oof. Nobody's reporting that it's being glitchy and giving problems. I'm assuming YouTube is lying. Because <coughs> YouTube oh. likes to lie about these things.
side after that small break in play. Noah Smith apparently ready to continue. And immediately plays one down to third man, right in front of the score box. Takes a score from 60, 66 for three to 67 for three in the 10th over. And that's the end of the over, and we're now halfway through the innings. Uh, should have got still water, Craig. Should have got water that doesn't taste as disgusting as raspberry blackberry. Not blackberry, blackcurrant. Yeah, thanks River Rock. Won't be doing that one again. However, fizzy water and fizzy tablets. Second set of sulfidine for the day. I'm wondering if that was because of the difference between getting hit and not. Noah taking the single, getting it down the other end. McDara punching one straight down the ground where mid on will field eventually. McDara now into the 30s. Pembroke exactly halfway there with exactly halfway there. And Noah again playing that shot down to third man. Really thinking about his batting today, not trying to hit the cover off the ball, but rather just taking what he's offered, giving the strike back to his partner. These two have put together a decent partnership now. Dara punching one down. Just the runner ball. Doesn't need to be any more than that. We're not in the realms of IPL now. Dot ball. Not too many updates in the live centre. He's going to. There's another stop here, stoppage in play. Noah Smith looking to retire hurt. Sent back to the middle by his captain. Noah saying he's having trouble running now. guarantee to make raspberry and black currant river rock fizzy water taste even worse stick a couple of sulfidine in there right this is the 12th over now another spinner puts his cap down his trousers makes sure his fielder is out at cow one suspects off spin here McDara facing. Dragged from outside off. Out to Cow Corner. And they take the single. Takes the score on 72. Another 61 required. 61 off 9. Well, 8.5. 61 off 53. Well, that's going to drop short of the fielder. But he makes sure of fielding it. No, keep for 
If he throws up, can he come off then, Joe? Darrow pushes it up to mid off. Just take the single. This is all it needs, just steady batting. This wicket's falling, we don't want. It's a strange floaty action he has. Push through the bowler fields his own bowling. Hell of a difference between Phillips pours and home pouring. Yeah, but the tonic is a little bit. A little bit flat. Oh, Noah oh, drags one out to the leg side. Nobody's going to stop that. Dissects the two fielders at mid wicket quite perfectly. It takes four more for that. That will take him on to 18. It'll take the score on 78. There are three wickets down, and that's the 12th over completed. Noah just retying his trousers again. The off spinner remains on at the St John's end. He's captain stride previously. He is, isn't he? Yeah. I owe him twenty quid as well. Do you? Yeah. The back co the pad covers. No, it has to be deep heat, James. <laughs> Madara doing his best to just feather that through to the keeper. Madara whips one into the leg side out to Cal Corner with a fielder, fumbles it, but keeps it down to a single. Yeah, no, it has to be deep heat for that area of his body. <laughs> but Dara goes big. This could be the field has set himself underneath, and that's the simplest to catch. Is Noah then departs for 19. Fine knock. One feels that the uh, injury changed his uh, thoughts about batting and started looking for the bigger hits. That's Pooh, oh, Pooh Sharma heading in to replace Noah Smith. Noah with 19, and the two of them put together a fine partnership. What about it, Noah? <laughs> Round of applause ripples around the ground. Okay, let's see if this works. Here we go. Hi, gents. Boyd, and just reached out chasing us. Let's see if I've got the right camera for the second replay or if I've done it wrong again. No, nope, it's still wrong. Oh, there we go. There we go. The fielder very early on set himself, just waited for it, and there it was, safely snared. And that was the end of Noah Smith. Now, push Schumer. Start on the fourth 11. Brought up today because of the Irish internationals being away on the first, stripping the seconds. McDara plays one down to short third inside the circle, but there's a single there and that will bring Pooh on strike. Okay. It's all right, it's that camera there. It's the top one. It's the top camera, you're fine. No, really. Now four wickets down, 80 runs on the board, 13th over. 
this is turning out to be a tight game. 30, 53 required from 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 46 balls. So just over a run of ball required. Without councillor Michael Clark on duty, we won't have run rates to the thousandth of a run. A little late on that shot, I felt. Yeah. Oh, if it's this guy, I'm not pronouncing it anyway. No. I think it could be this guy or this guy, I'm not sure. No, it's not him. So, calling to the sideline. Looking for guidance. Not getting any. <laughs> we take the run there. Lack of calling between field uh, between batsmen. Who might not be known as the greatest runner between the wickets. <clears throat> and what we don't want here is a silly run out. Now, with this bowler, he comes in at a pace and then the ball comes out even slower. And it just dips. And that's what's causing the batsman trouble here is timing this guy. Yeah. And then you've got to make sure you do hit it. Got to hit it further than a foot to get a single here. Bit of a breeze picking up, keeping the clouds moving. And leg bite. Pooh getting off strike, getting McDarrah back on strike. How's that? It's all right. Just didn't like a fruit. It stinks like a gin. Nicely flipped away. Nicely timed shot. Oh, no, there's plenty, plenty there, plenty there. YMCA haven't quite worked out that they're better off throwing it to Pooh's end. Whichever end he's running to. He's not as quick as McDarrow, that's for sure. And takes off slower as well. Trees over the wall now are moving quite briskly. <laughs> Definite bit of wind. And that's the end of McDarrah. See the net making its way over to the sideline, just as making a break for it. Dara, McDarrah, oh. his innings has come to an end. It's going to hit something. It'll just gently glide up. <laughs> we should put the weights on this one. Yeah. Well, there's enough on this. Yeah, go up Wilfield and turn right. Who's up 
Jackson's gone in. Mm. Is that Alec? Alec I think Jackson. that's Mr. Jackson has gone in now. New batsman, Alec Jackson, wicket keeper. And that's 14 overs gone. Six to go. Six overs to get uh, 49 runs. Eight and over. That's certainly the rate that YM started at. Back in a minute. With a hound. Ah, it's good to see. <laughs> what you need now is a few guards chasing you with um, with batons drawn, and then you'd really feel like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So keep him well. How's the family? Is that a new addition? She's only a baby, is she? Does she have a name? Bailey. 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 It's all right. No, no, you get no choice in anything these days, mate. Oh, that's unusual. You don't see that very often. The batsman, batsman pulling out, getting bold, but uh, because he pulled out, it was a dead ball. This game is really in the balance now. Building up to quite an exciting finish if you're living nearby. I'm surprised the bells aren't here yet. This would be a waiting, they're just coming down for the fifth game. Oh the, yes, this of course only being the warm-up game for the fifth game later on. Be on after this one. <laughs> I know I wear this jumper all the time, but the rest of the gear I don't normally wear. Yes, the pyjamas are on. You, you, you gave up at the right time, Connor. This pyjama rubbish. T20. We'll see you again next lap. Next pint. Nope, don't put it. Pushed out to mid off. Deep mid-off comes in, fields it just outside the 30-yard circle, returns it to the bowler. Score moves on to 88. She's got something <laughs> in her mouth. Uh, she's got something she's stuck in her mouth. mouth. She's got a stick stuck in her mouth. Beats Poo all ends up. Another past president on the ground. How many is that I've seen now? Good afternoon, Mr. Gallagher. How are you? <laughs> Billy Gallagher, Michael Sharp, Michael Moriarty, <laughs> Sean Smith, Craig Senior, Janice Walsh. Janice Walsh. 
six past presidents on the ground. He's gone big. He's gone big. Is he going to clear the fielder? Yeah. Six, the first six of the day. <laughs> Where's Graham Mooney? Graham's gone off to Sandy Mount. He unfortunately missed that to see how to hit a six. So Pooh gets his six. That'll take take him on to six. Eight. Just plays that one out on the leg side. The boundary rider comes in, throws it back to 40 yards. And now Alec Jackson. He'll be desperately keen to do well here against YMCA, his past club. Joined Pembroke in the off season. Gets forward nicely, gets on top of the ball. And that's the end. So five overs to go, and Pembroke need 38. 38 off 24. Uh, off 30. 38 off 30. That's six certainly helped there with the run rate required. Sorry, there seems to be a hole in the bottom of your glass. <laughs> it looks to be as big as the hole at the top. Can you not go out again, Joe? Which <laughs> wasn't terribly pleasant, but okay. Bring your own next time, is it? Rest of the Pembroke tail padding up now. Now, Pooh looking to go big here. Batting outside his crease. Four overs to go. Dot ball. So off 23, it's 38. And that makes it a bit more difficult. Thirty-seven off twenty-three. Just a single. <clears throat> Pembroke needs some big runs now. Right nearly at 10 and over now. It's just crept up there. The fall of a few, a couple of wickets. Let's put Pembroke back. Jackson unable to deal with that one. Shorter ball. It's now turned into a lovely day down in Pembroke recommend joining us all five of you <laughs> oh top edge and that will work very well that's four Alec Jackson just playing that one over the top of the keeper did sound a bit edges edged edged but uh, only the batsman knows was it deliberate Thirty-three. That's a first innings total, not runs required. Run. Oh, come on. Thirty-three runs required, and they're turning down singles. Well, Alec Jackson looking for the big hit, obviously. Pushes out on the leg side. That's going to be another boundary. That's another four. They needed that. They needed that. That takes it down to uh, 29 required. Three overs. 
and 29 required. Those two fours were a big help in that over. No, he stopped a couple of times. He hasn't been past us for a while. Now, that's not to say he hasn't walked down to Black Rock and back. But he's certainly getting his steps in. So, last three overs, 29 required. Nicely lifted. Just a single. Well fielded. There was no two there. There was no two there at any stage. So, 28. 28 off 17. Oh, move your feet. Move your feet. Pembroke going to get going, or are they just going to succumb? This is a good tight game. If this is if this is anything to go, to do with how the season's going to go, we're in for an exciting, albeit short, season of cricket here in Sydney Parade. And I'd certainly recommend coming down, although one wonders how much room is left in the car park. That's big, that's big and big enough, big enough. Six there, takes it on to 112. 21 required. The umpire didn't believe me, so he looked to the other umpire, who's even further away than he is. <laughs> Confirmation. Pooh hitting that one very straight. This could be the over. Oh, he's played that beautifully past the slip region, and that's going to go for another boundary. And that's 10 off two balls. That's certainly the, the impetus that Pembroke needed going into these last three overs. Pooh has really decided just to play that delicately. As you were. Seventeen required. Seventeen off thirteen. And that's well played by Pooh. Well played. Just takes the single, retains the strike, takes the strike into the following over. Two overs to go, seventeen required. This is still all in up in the air. Pooh is now on 20, maybe 21. So 16 required off the last two overs. Plenty of wickets in hand. Five wickets in hand with two overs to go. Positively worth a, a dash here now. So Pooh Sharma looking to take the seconds. Closer and closer to that finishing line. 16 required. Four fours in 12 balls. Change of fielder, yes. Point fielder coming down to third man and vice versa. Pooh looking to go straight through mid off. There's no fielder there. There is now. Past the ring on the offside. Could be the four that he's looking for. That could be leg buys. There's only going to be a single there. As I say, the YMCA fielding has been uh, superior to the Pembroke fielding in the first innings. That's one off two. And there's a wicket that definitely turns the uh, 
the game in YM's favour. Do you want to shout the score out to you? Or? What, what do we need? There you go. Here it is, you see Alec goes right across his stumps in an effort to flick it to the leg side, misses it and it takes his leg stump. But a nice little cameo there, Alec Jackson, 10. Decent partnership. And now Pooh is going to learn how to run too, very quickly. <laughs> or be run out. Or be run out, there's no twos. <sighs> No two that Andy Leonard won't take. It doesn't matter how low you go. <laughs> no, his bag was sticking up anyway. <laughs> so with 10 balls remaining, Pembroke need 15, nine and over. Well, that's six down. Seven, eight, nine. There's three people, so. Samson, maybe. Yes. Again, the value of the fielding there, saving a definite run. Couple of big blows here now needed by Pembroke. Andy Leonard just readjusting. Bottom pad, bottom strap. No, the scoreboard's correct. No, that's first innings. So the target is obviously one more. He has sliced that into the offside. It's got to be two this time. On, it's got to be two this time. And he's going to be in big trouble. He's out. Didn't slide his bat. Didn't slide his bat, but had to get back for the two. And they get one. And now Azizi goes out to the middle. Azizi, who will be able to keep up with Andy on the running front. Well, I just feel that Pooh's turning circle was slightly too big there. How are you? Here we go, we're going full speed for a change. Sliced right, out into the offside. I hit the wrong thing. No, you're fine. So it's half speed. Look at that. And Andy had turned and was halfway down the wicket. And Pooh was time. never going to make Pooh it in was, time. And you watch he here. He was never going to make it. Mind you, it was close. Really slide the bat in. Yeah. So it was easy. And he do nothing. As easy gets a first ball up, and that's eight down. Right. Next. Okay. 13 required. There you go. Yeah. Walks right over. Another one who walked down the leg side. Gave it plenty of room. Gave himself so much room. What are the umpires saying? Where's your bales? I got him, Stephen. Oh. We'll open the shed.
The bowler having broken a bail there, caused another st stoppage in play. So we go into the last over and Pembroke need 13 from the last over. And then there'll be an hour's break between the two games before the fifth 11 takes the field. Very flaky clouds out there, little tufts of cloud. Definitely have split up enough to let the sunlight through. And we're ready to continue now. Second trip to the bar for young Toomey. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Nine months, isn't it? <laughs> Second trip in two years. <laughs> now, Tanaka is prepared to run. So, 13 required. <laughs> There's no two there. No two there. Let's put the fielder under a little bit of pressure. Is he a right hand bat or a left hand bat? Left hand bat. Right arm bowler or left arm bowler? Left arm bowler, right arm thrower. Oh, okay. Now, man at cow. Made it long on. Drop and run and give Andy back the strike. <laughs> Dot ball, good as a wicket. I don't know why the bowler's that worried. Just two wickets in hand. Pinged down head height. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five outside the circle. Just chips it over the bowler's head. They keep it down to a single. Nice, come on, Lenny. Eleven required off three. Been a thriller, all right. All the way through this game has just ebbed and flowed. Andy Leonard goes, tries to go big. Got the toe of the bat. Come on, run, 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 run. Uh, I, running at an angle like that? I don't know. He's running further than he needs to. Seven required from two. <coughs> There's no super over. Nine off two. This one has to cross the rope somehow. He's gone big. The field has changed. A couple of times has taken the catch and that's a fine catch and that will probably see the end of the game. Well done. YMCA, fine catch, and it's uh, the fielding that's been the difference between the two teams. So, Samson going out at number 11. No heroics from Andy this time. 
unlike the league win in Merion a few years ago. This time he had to go big. Fell just short. Another five yards on that. Would have made it very interesting. He sliced underneath it. Looking to see if it's gone. Didn't even run. And that's a fine catch. That is a super catch. So, Donica Tucker. The fielder's going to get round to that, make sure he stops it. And it's just a dot ball. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the game. YMCA win, win by six runs and get their campaign off to a good start. And that leaves the Fisk with the chance to be the first side to win at home. They'll be playing Terranure in an hour's time. We'd like to thank you for your company at this stage. And uh, Pembroke TV will be back for the second game in an hour's time. We hope you'll stick around. Yes, I know. Oh, I'm just laughing at YouTube grumbling again. It may have... No, you'll have to excuse me. I now have to prepare for my, my game. Yeah. No data. You're lying. Two max, so we seem to lose nine ten. Sorry, that's good. <laughs> 